Hi y'all, BL here. Stopping in just to say hello and um talk about a meme I saw. The meme said uh a strong black woman ignores when people do her wrong and she keeps on keeping on doing her and rising up. And while there's some truth in that, there's also some great flaw. And um, actually, this opened up an entire discussion between myself and uh, about five other, one, two, three, four, four other females. So we went into quite a bit of discussion about it. But um, my take on it is that a strong black woman should not be made to feel like she must ignore mistreatment to consider being strong. Because to me, what that meme says is, she's a strong black woman, and she's going to ignore when people do her wrong. So if she doesn't ignore it, does that say she's not strong? Does that make her weak because she doesn't ignore it? Because she speaks out against it? Um, hmm. So over time, if she continues to ignore and continues to ignore, those are, are if you will, darts. Uh as the, 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 the eclectic people put it, um, darts into her aura that are being shot at her. So she's taking darts, taking on darts and darts and darts, and eventually they're going to penetrate. So in other words, eventually she's going to get weighed down with ignoring the wrongs. Even though she ignores it, somewhere in her psyche it gets stored. So eventually... She's going to get bogged down with the weight of that. And she's going to become angry. And she might snap. Or clap back. Or, you know, become bitter. Or, you know, whatever the word may be. Or, you know, may even affect her mentally. Where, you know, she has trouble functioning and stuff. And falls into depression. Whatever. We don't know. But bottom line, it does have an impact. Um, and as I work with. Uh, more and more people with um, what you would call what, what society likes to call mental health issues uh, I see a lot of people who have had things done to them if you will that and this is male and female but this video is talking about women so I'm going to focus on the women but I've, I've talked with men and women who have had things done that they were told to ignore um either by their parents big brother big sister somebody told them ignore it just keep doing you don't worry about them just keep doing keep doing keep doing and over a period of time it got to be too much for them because they never dealt with it um so i i, I when i look at this meme or this mindset that says a strong black woman ignores when people do her wrong. She keeps on doing her and she's rising up and rising up. Well, this day and age, you can't do that. 50 years ago, yeah, you could because people still had morals. And if you didn't like someone or you did someone wrong, you just did it that one time and you stopped. Or if you didn't like them, you know, it is what it is. You went on about your business. They went on about theirs. But this day and age, if someone does you wrong... Oftentimes, you can expect them to keep doing you wrong if you don't nip it in the bud. If you don't address it, you can expect them to go harder, stronger, um, to come back with more, if you will. Because people just don't give a damn to that. If they do you wrong, chances are they're going to come back and do it again. So, but my one of my questions is, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, if she responds, she's no longer strong. And then what do we say? I saw, I think, an opposing meme that says kind of something along the lines of a weak woman or a weak person does nothing. A weak person, yeah, focuses on that instead of focusing on, on veteran themselves. So a weak person focuses on the negative, focuses on what was done wrong instead of focusing on the better in themselves. Well, you know, that can open a whole can of worms because remember in Christianity, they tell, they tell you to forgive, forgive, forgive. Forgiveness is for you, not for the other person. 
that all makes sense but if it's never addressed um how do you forgive if it's never acknowledged atoned for etc how do you forgive that's a whole nother separate video but it's quite difficult to do um and that's along these same lines if someone does you wrong does it and we're on black women now um if someone does her wrong she has a right to speak up she doesn't have to ignore it she doesn't have to that's that mindset that teaches you to sit down and be a doormat is what it does it teaches you to allow people to mistreat you to do you wrong to harm you in whatever way you're harmed whether it's physically financially emotionally socially whatever way that you're being harmed just like the kids that are getting bullied what do we what do the teachers tell them to school oh ignore them ignore them how many of those kids are going home trying to kill themselves now because they're carrying the weight of all of that mistreatment and those negative words and things that and actions that the kids are doing to them and we tell them just ignore it just do good in school just ignore ignore and these kids going and trying to hang and shoot and not shoot uh swallow pills and cut themselves and whatever else they can do because they get to a point where they can't take it anymore so we're going to have to reevaluate that strong black woman or strong person period we're going to have to reevaluate how we handle when people are doing us wrong or what we're teaching our children what we're telling our women we sure need to stop telling them to ignore it because that doesn't work as we see it continues and we live in an age where evil is so rampant um bullying is so rampant there are so many narcissistic people out there who just want to exercise power and control who um, are hateful just because who are jealous and envious and all of that other stuff and if you ignore one thing they're gonna come back with something else and you ignore that and they come back with something else and you keep ignoring and keep ignoring and they keep coming back and they're getting stronger and it's getting harder it's kind of like um the the kid in school who kind of brushes up against you just to see how you're going to respond and the next time it's a they stumble into you and the last time it's a straight up punch in the face now it's building they've continued and you've done what you've been told to do just ignore it go tell the teacher and sit down and do your work so um but bottom line a woman is not that doesn't make a strong black woman so she's strong as long as she keeps making it happen while she's tolerating somebody else's crap so if she's not able to make it happen while she, people are crapping on her then she's considered weak hmm when she stops being their doormat when she takes a stand or when she's forced to stop because it knocks her down or you know puts her in a position where you know she's like i just gave you the example of the kids the bullying and stuff it puts her in a position where she can't even function because she's got so much of their crap that she's been trying to ignore so then does she become weak hmm i think the whole re we need to reevaluate that because as long as we're telling black women and i'm not teaching my girls this um to 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 let people just do them wrong and keep on doing them no you keep on doing you but you address their wrong as well because if you don't address it then it becomes crap and it piles up and before you know it you're weighed down with the crap so but bottom line no matter how strong she is she has the right to be treated properly we all do it should be her choice whether she you know to fight and how she chooses to fight whether she chooses to respond whether she chooses to walk away it's not society's definition of whether she's approved or disproved strong or weak on how she handles it that's her choice like i said in the age when morality is out the window you give a nigga up you want to be a cowboy first transition transgression you let it go they're gonna come again 
and before you know it she got a big old snowball rolling downhill that you and it's building momentum that you've got to try to stop and it's a nightmare to do it because you didn't catch it when it was an itty bitty snowball at the top of the hill now it's a it's it's something that you can't even see around and you're trying to deal with it so like i said old folks used to say nip it in the bud but the meme didn't say nip it in the bud the nip it, the meme said ignore it now am i saying you fight at level 10 for every transgression no but i am saying you don't ignore anything and, you know, you weigh how you're going to respond to it. And sometimes ignoring it is a response. Well, not sometimes, or ignoring it is a response. It's not a sometimes, it's all the time, if you choose to do that. But sometimes your response may need to be verbal. Sometimes your response may, may need to be physical, depending on, you know, what they did. If they hit you, you better hit them back. It may need to be legal. It may need to be spiritual. Whatever your fight is, I mean, you know, you got your witchcraft going on out here. You got people being targeted. You got, like I said, the lack of morality is just out the window. Ethics are out the window. You got wickedness to no end going on around these days. Uh-uh. You don't ignore anything, even if you just take note. Take a mental note or you got to keep a black book. You keep a black book. Um... I'm going to end this, I think, with, um, who was it? Kenny Rogers had a song way, way back, um, Coward of the County. And there's a verse in there that says, you don't have to fight to be a man. He was talking about, it was a male that he was referencing, but it, I think it applies here. And so this boy had walked away because his dad had told him, kind of on his deathbed, and, and actually kind of raised him along those things. But pretty much, you don't have to fight to be a man. You can still be a man and... Um, you know, you're an upstanding citizen, you hold your head high and, you know, don't fight, don't fight. That doesn't make you a man. So the boy had grown up walking away from everything. People did him wrong, he walked away, he walked away, he walked away. He's going to establish his manhood in a manner that does not include fighting. And in the particular song, the problem grew. Everyone called him the coward of the county, but one time these these boys gatlin boys i believe is what they called in the song uh hemmed up his girl and they had their way with her and it came down to it and he's like you know what mm, no mm -mm. and so he had to show them what you know what he was made of and he put them all down now in today's society if that actually occurred he would be in jail probably, you know, 20, 30 years um, when he could have just put papers on him from the beginning or he could have laid hands on him from the beginning. You know, he could have addressed it from the beginning and they never would have thought it okay to continue doing what they were doing. Because people do because you let them do. People mistreat because they're not checked. They're not dealt with at the early levels of mistreatment. So this, back to this strong black woman. Yeah, she is a strong black woman. But when she's being wronged, she has a right to fight back in whichever way she, you know, deems necessary. Uh, and, and obviously something appropriate to the wrong. And what I say to society, to the listeners, don't call her weak because she won't acquiesce and um, lay down and let it happen and move on. How about stand with her? Because what was done was wrong. So stand with her and deal with the person who did the wrong. Instead of calling her weak and telling her, oh no, just suck it up and move on. Time has passed for that. We're not in those days anymore. We are not in those days anymore. Um, just wanted to put that out there. Because um, like I said, I'd seen the meme and actually was shared in one of my social media uh, 
and so my sisters and I and my girls and several of us had kind of went around in discussion about it and I said I was going to do something about it on this platform and so um there it is out there but bottom line a strong black woman is that yes she can um bring home the bacon fried up in the pan she can be you know a, a, a mother a wife your sex kitten your financier your doctor your all of that however if she is wronged she has a right she has a duty to herself to respond in whatever appropriate manner and that again may mean physical legal verbal you might just get cussed out who knows what might be to look at you and pity, or to look at the not you but look at the um the person who's doing the wrong in pity and just walk away you know who knows what it might be but i just want society to stop leveraging her her strength or not leverage that's not the correct word stop labeling her strong and telling her to lay down and be a doormat and ignore when she's being done wrong. Um, because little girls are getting that. Little boys are getting that. The kids are getting, oh, well, just ignore it and keep doing you. It doesn't work. In the long run, it does not work. We see, again, too many people trying to take themselves out because they're being wronged. And the people that are doing wrong are not stopping because the the woman, the girl, the boy, whoever it is, is not fighting back and no one else is helping them fight. No one else is even standing in their stead. So that being the case, take care. Have a great one. Put your puzzle together. And we'll catch you on the next one.